Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at installing a SteamOS 3 VM in Proxmox using Hollow ISO. To get started, launch a web browser and navigate to the Proxmox web UI and log in. First, we need to download Hollow ISO to our Proxmox host. Select the storage from the left navigation, then ISO images. Then click download from URL, paste the Hollow ISO URL, then click query URL, and finally, download. Once the download completes, close the dialog window, then right click on the Proxmox hostname and create VM. Enter a unique name and VM ID, then click next. Select Hollow ISO from the ISO image dropdown, then click next. Set the machine dropdown to Q35 and the BIOS to OVMF, then set the EFI storage device and uncheck the pre enroll keys box, then click next. Set the bus device dropdown to SATA, then select the target storage device and create a disk of at least 16 gigabytes. Then click Next. Set the number of CPU cores to two or more and the CPU type equal to host, then click Next. Set the memory to at least eight gigabytes or 8,192 megabytes, then click Next. Leave the defaults on the network tab, then click Next and Finish. Select the new VM from the left navigation then hardware. We'll need to pass a physical GPU to the VM to be able to use it for gaming. I'll leave a link in the video description to a full tutorial on GPU pass-through. We'll also need to pass through a USB keyboard and mouse so we can control the VM. With our GPU and keyboard and mouse pass-through, we can start the VM. Now I'll switch over to the output of the GPU that I passed through to the VM. Press enter to select SteamOS installer. The initial boot will take about a minute as it has to copy about 8 gigabytes to RAM. Once completed, we'll reach a desktop environment. Wait a few minutes as we'll get multiple pop-ups from the Steam client unpacking and updating. Once it completes, close the Steam client, then double click install SteamOS on this machine on the desktop. Click continue. Select deck experience, then click OK. Select SDA as the target disk, then click OK. Select erase entire drive, then click OK. Then click yes to confirm erasing the drive. Wait while SteamOS is installed to the virtual SATA drive. When prompted, enter a password for the root user account. Then confirm the password. Next, enter a username. Then enter and confirm a password for the standard user account. Wait while the user accounts are created and configured. Then when prompted that the installation is finished, Press any key to close the installer. Click the application menu, then select shut down and shut down again. Once the VM is completely shut down, navigate back to the Proxmox web UI and remove the Hollow ISO CD from the virtual CD DVD drive. Then start the VM back up. This time, our SteamOS VM will boot from the virtual SATA disk. Press enter at the boot screen to select SteamOS. It'll feel like the VM stuck at the loading initial RAM disk screen, but give it a couple minutes and you should boot to the SteamOS out of box experience. Select a language and press enter. Select a time zone and press enter. Press enter to use the wired connection then SteamOS will pull down updates and reboot the VM. Once the VM reboots, log in using your existing Steam credentials.
Welcome to SteamOS 3 Hollow, running as a Proxmox VM. Thank you. 